In this video, we're going to continue on with volume. We're going to look at three more figures. The first one we're going to look at is the cylinder. Now remember, the cylinder is very similar to the prism in the sense that they both have a pair of opposite identical faces that are bases. Okay. The difference between the cylinder and the prism is that the cylinder's bases will always stay the same. All right, let's start with the similarities. If the cylinder has a pair of opposite identical faces, right, um, let's talk about volume. We want to fill this space. So it would make sense if it's a lot like a prism, we could start with figuring out what it's going to take to cover one layer, namely that bottom circle. And then if we multiply by the height, that will fill in the 3D space. So the cylinder formula for volume is actually identical to the volume formula for a prism. The difference though between the cylinder and the prism is that the bases will not change. See, the problem with the prism is if the bases were triangles, then we find the area of the base as one half base times height. If the base was a rectangle, we find the base a length times width. Since our base in the cylinder is always a circle, the one and only way you find the area of a circle is pi r squared. So there's your area of the base, and when we multiply by the height of the figure, we bring in the third dimension and get our formula for volume. So just doing a quick example, let's say we have a cylinder whose radius is two inches. We'll give it a height of seven inches. If we want the volume, volume is simply pi r squared h. So we plug in pi. The radius in this case is two inches and the height is seven inches. Uh, don't forget to square your radius, so that's two squared. When we run through our calculator, I'll take two squared, which of course gives me four, multiply by seven, and multiply by pi. And what I end up with is 87.96. Now don't forget your units. You can get your units one of two ways. Remember when we were doing volume, we were just simply uh, counting up the number of cubes in the space. So that gives us cubic units. Or look right here. When you take the inch and square it, you get inch squared, but then you're gonna multiply by another inch, which bumps that exponent up to the third power. So there's your cubic units, one of two ways. All right, next up is the cone. Remember the cone had some similarities to the cylinder because they both had circular bases. Well, turns out, um, if we look at the volume formula for the cylinder, pi r squared h, okay, the cone, the volume of the cone is exactly one third that. In other words, if this cylinder and this cone had the exact same height and radius, then I would have to take this cone, fill it up three times. So I'd fill it up once, dump it into the cylinder, fill it up a second time, dump it into the cylinder, fill it up a third time, dump it in the cylinder, and that's when the cylinder would be filled. So the volume of the cone is exactly one third the volume of the related cylinder. Just to do a quick example, this time we'll make it a little tricky. Uh, from end to end, we have six centimeters, and from top to bottom here, we have eight centimeters. So volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. Pi, all right, the radius. Be careful, just because they give you the number doesn't mean it's the number you need. Uh, we need the radius, but from end to end, we know that's the diameter. So the radius will be half of that, which is three. Uh, we have to square it, that's what the formula tells us, and then the height is eight. So uh, three squared times eight times pi, and then I'll take one third of that, or you can just divide by three. Uh, so let's see, um, three squared times eight times pi, and then divide by three. Volume is of this particular cone, 75.4. Don't forget the units. We are dealing with cubic units. 
All right, we have one more figure to go. Uh, that would be the sphere. So let's talk about the sphere. Okay, remember the sphere is generated from a circle, uh, so the sphere will have a radius. The formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. There's a nice proof of it in your book if you wanted to check it out. It's related to the cylinder uh, that has um, the same radius and same height. Um, but just to do a quick example, if we want the volume of the sphere, um, 4 thirds pi r cubed. We just need to make sure that we select the radius, not the diameter. In this given problem, 7 is the diameter. So the radius will be 3.5. Don't forget to cube it. So 3.5 up to the third power times pi times 4 thirds gives us our volume of 179.59 cubic units. Since we're in inches, they're inches cubed. All these formulas can be found in your formula packet. In class, we're going to do an example of each of these. Uh, each of the four figures, um, and I will also show you where to find them in your formula packet. But you can uh, go ahead and take a look at the first page of the geometry, and you should see all of these uh, volume formulas along with the surface area formulas at the bottom half of the page.